This is non-calculator question number 11. College Board is asking us to find the measure of angle QOR and then convert that from degrees to radians. So we see that POQ plus QOR plus ROT, that's this angle plus this angle plus this angle, forms a triangle, which is 180 degrees, and we're given that POQ and ROT are each 30. So 30 plus QOR plus another 30 equals 180. I'll put in the degree symbols. So that's QOR plus 60. If I subtract 60 from both sides, I get QOR equals 120 degrees. And 120 is not a choice because they told us to convert to radians and they're being nice and not putting in it as distracted that is mathematically correct, but not the answer to their question. I need to convert this from degrees to radians. And I know that 2 pi radians equals 360 degrees. If you don't know that off the top of your head, the formula sheet at the start of each math section tells you that there are two, two pi radians in a circle and 360 degrees in a circle. So dividing you get 2 pi radians over 360 degrees equals 1. So I, if I multiply this by 2 pi radians over 360 degrees, the degrees will cancel. And I'm left with 120 over 360 is 1 third times 2 pi radians equals 2 thirds pi radians. And that is choice C. And visually, pi radians is 180 degrees, and this does look similar to 2 thirds of pi. So estimation says that this is at least a reasonable answer, where, for example, 1 third pi, if we use the wrong conversion, would not be reasonable, because this is clearly more than 1 third of pi radians, which is 180 degrees. College Board will ask you to use facts such as there are 180 degrees in a triangle or 180 degrees in a straight angle, and they will sometimes ask you to convert between degrees and radians. So make sure you review both skills before your SAT. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.